हेलो पीपल वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब Hello guys, I'm back again. So this is a continuation lecture video on the video indices and standard form. So today I'll be discussing on standard form. Standard forms are the forms when it is written in the form one number to the left of the decimal point. So I'll show with an example. Uh, my all the videos will be mostly tutorial based. So I'll be showing examples to make you understand better. So uh, let's write an example. 3.34.755 10 raised to 3 so to write in terms of its standard form as i said one number to the left of the decimal point so to the left of the decimal point there are two numbers right so when it is written in the form left of the decimal point then it is called a standard form where in this number this factor is called the mantissa mantissa and this factor is called the exponent so let's write another example 0 0.535 okay now i need to represent the terms of standard form you know that there is already one number left so there is nothing left over here so you can just write into 10 raised to 0 because 10 raised to 0 is one so it's the same so that's all about you have to see about standard form you have to check the mantissa and the exponent there are also certain rules like the law of indices for writing in standard form so what are they let's check it the numbers having the same exponent can be added or subtracted form from by adding or subtracting mantissa that is i'm saying that a raised to 10 raised to m plus b into 10 raised to m so you can see that for both these numbers let's assume that a and b are numbers so and m is also a number for both these term numbers we know that they both have the same exponents check it 10 raised to m so you can group it together and just do the calculation a plus b so this is what it is said by the rule was rule number one the numbers having the same exponent so the numbers having the same exponent and can be added or subtracted so when they have same exponent it can be added or for a subtraction also it applies the same rule i'll be showing more through a uh, tutorial section so the next problem would be b law of indices can be used when multiplying or dividing numbers in the standard form for example so let's have a number uh, a into 10 raised to m into b into 10 raised to n so you can multiply the mantissa together and also you can also use the law of indices when having the same base 10 raised to m plus n so a into b into 10 raised to m plus 1 now i will show you through examples so you will get a better understanding so now let's go directly to the problems of a standard form so let's go so I'm back again. So let's start directly with the tutorial section for standard form. So let's go directly to the problem number A. So we have to convert this number in terms of standard form. Please recollect what I said. As in standard form to write, you have to write one the number to the left of the decimal point. So it should be in that form. So here there are two numbers. So we can't express and there is no exponent for it. So what you do, you just divide the number by 10 okay so it becomes 3.871 into 10 how did you get this answer you actually to make it into a decimal point you mul multiply and divide by 10 so now this number becomes 3.871 and which is 10 raised to 1 i hope it's clear and next go to the same problem okay so b 4576 this number i have to convert into standard form so there are, should be four numbers there is no decimal point you can up and zero so this is actual meaning of this number is like same as putting a decimal point and appending how many zeros you want so this is what actually representation is but for a standard form there should be only one number after the decimal point but there are four four numbers so what you have to do you have to divide this number by thousand and also multiply this number by 1000 what is 1000 it is nothing but 
10 into 10 into 10, which is 10 raised to 3. So you can, when you multiply this number, you get 4.756 into 10 raised to 3. So this is the standard form. So I hope the problem number A and B is clear. And now let's do the problem number C. Express the number in decimal number. So let's write the decimal number first. 1.725 into 10 raised to minus 2. Which kind of form is this? This is a standard form. And now you have to convert this standard form into a decimal number. So before that, let's remove all this exponent by what is 10 raised to minus 2? It is 1 by 10 square, which is nothing but it is 100. So you just have to divide this number by 100 to make into decimal number. So to when while you divide, you know that two points, there is only one point. So you append 1, 0 and 1725. So this is the final answer for the problem number C. And now the next problem D. Express in standard form. So number is there 3 by 8 and you have to express that number in terms of standard form. So let's do the calculation for 3 by 8. 30 you append a 0 and you put a 0 over here, decimal point over here. 8, 3 is our 24 and here 60. 60 again goes 8, 7 is 56 and 40. So it is 0 0.375. 0 0.375 is what? It is the decimal fraction. But what do we want? We want to write it in terms of standard form. Standard form is nothing but you have put a decimal, you put a number to the left. Okay, so you can write this as 3.75 into 10 raised to 1. So when a number written to the left of the decimal point, then you can write this in terms of standard form. I have done over here wrong, uh, not wrong, it is same, but actual representation of this would be 5.35 into 10 raised to minus 1. It's also the same representation, but when you represent in standard form, you write a number to the left of the decimal point. And this is what we are practicing through this tutorial. So, express in standard form is over. And now our problem number E, express in fraction. So, this number is there, 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 1. What is 10 raised to minus 1? It is nothing but 2.5 by 10. As I said, when you have decimals in fraction numbers, it's difficult to do division and everything. So first, you should convert that decimal fractions into whole numbers. Okay, decimal fractions. Let's avoid it. So you can multiply with 10 to remove the decimal point. So 25 by 100, which is nothing but 1 by 4. And what is the question on? You have to express as a fraction and I have expressed it in the smallest fraction possible. That is 1 by 4. And now let's do the second problem. 1.354 into 10 square. So what is 10 square? You have to represent in terms of fraction, right? So you know that 1 pi, 1.354. So 10 square is 100. So 1.354 into 100 is 1354.1. Okay, you know that what is a decimal fraction? Decimal fraction is the sum of number plus fraction. So let's take 135.4. You can write it as 135 plus 0.4, right? Is it right? So now we can write, but you know that 0.4 is what? It is nothing but 4 by 10 or 4 by 10 is what? You have to write the smallest fraction 2 by 5. So the answer for this problem would be 135 2 by 5. That is 135 2 by 5. I hope this problem is very much clear. If you have any doubts, please email me on my email id jojo's learning club at gmail.com or comment under the video. I will try to reach out to everyone. So that's all for the problem number E. And now let's do our final problem. H. Express the answer in standard form. So we have to express this in standard form. So recollect all the rules for calculating in standard form. Their mantissa, to get to add their mantissa, their exponent should be of the same form. But we know that here the exponents are different, right? 10 square, 10 cube. 
So what you will do? Uh, you can make one number so that their exponents are the same. So here you can write 0 0.9293 into 10 raised to 3. It is the same as 9.293 into 10 square. So you can write like this and here 1.3 into 10 raised to 3. So what happens now? Their in exponents are of the same value. Check it. Their exponents are same. Now we can group together into and write 0 0.9293 plus 1.3 so we need to calculate what it is 0 0.9293 plus 1.3 as I said when you add to decimal fractions when you don't have enough des numbers after the decimal point you just have to up and zeros with it so 1 sorry so I have to start from here so 3 9 and here 2 it is 12 2.2293 so 2.2293 into 10 raised to 3 so this is the standard form with mandisa and exponent so i have tried to cover all the problems using standard form and indices i hope everything is clear and my next topic would be on computer numbering systems so please feel free to reach me out at my email id or just comment under the video so that's all for today and See you on my next video.